Welcome back everyone. This is our weekly gold market review. Gold's price headed lower for the second consecutive week closing on the 20th of November. The downward trend was extended into Monday's session when the precious metal performed its second largest daily drop for the current month. Is this a sign that gold traders are giving up long positions? Is this gold's new trend? These and other matters currently driving gold's price will be considered in this report. First, it is evident from yesterday's session that some gold traders had a sudden change of perspective that may have triggered the very notable sell-off in the U.S. session. This happening can be attributed to different occurrences within the financial markets at the same time. First, investors could be moving money into the stock markets, which are prone to seasonal reactions. Especially this week, the Thanksgiving holiday precedes the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday which are considered some very active shopping days from a consumer perspective. Even though these specific events are considered temporary consumer boosts, they come at a critical point for many economies that have faced a very difficult past year. The events have the ability to support the global economy as consumer spending could increase substantially. From an investor's perspective, we could say that in this case, one could favor the stock markets over the precious metal as they have the potential of faster and larger returns. The event's performance could also set the tone for what may follow in the actual holiday season. Furthermore, investors and traders may be looking into other instruments that are currently in demand. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or XRP have also been very active in the past days, possibly stealing the attention from gold especially Bitcoin has the ability to move as fast as gold does and has been on the rise lately, making it somewhat more attractive than gold. On a separate note, according to many headlines in the news, the COVID-19 vaccine will start to be distributed in various states in the US as soon as mid or end of December, even though the general sentiment may not support the immediate use of the vaccine, the potential results that the vaccine carries according to its tests could be considered a relief for global health and consequently for the economy. The vaccine could support the economy in different ways. Individuals may feel safer to travel, spend, invest, which could support the global economy. Gold traders may be seeing this as an opportunity to sell bullion. At the moment and during Tuesday's European morning session, we have seen a positive correlation between the US dollar and gold's price. Gold and the greenback have been weakening simultaneously for the past months, yet the correlation can be challenging to identify as gold's movement tends to be much more abrupt and extended. Also, gold's quality as a safe haven asset that is used to hedge financial uncertainty makes it very unpredictable. Thus, in our opinion, the positive correlation can continue temporarily. As a closure, gold's price can also be sensitive to financial releases in the U.S., on the 25th of November, we get the GDP second estimate for the third quarter, but also the durable goods figure for October. On the same day, we get the FOMC meeting minutes. Finally, political developments in the U.S. also move gold's price as new elected U.S. President Joe Biden is currently forming the new government. Moving now to our technical analysis, this is gold's daily chart. Please note, after the latest downward movement, gold fell to a four-month low. Today, it has tested the S1-1800 support level, but bounced off it, gaining back approximately 10 US dollars for the time being. If the selling persists, then the S2-1775 hurdle could be next, while the S3-1750 barrier could come into play in a continuous bearish momentum. On the contrary, if gold is controlled by the buy side, then our R1-1830 resistance level could emerge as the first test, being the lowest point reached in yesterday's session. Higher, we have also noted the R2-1850 line as a crucial level tested various times in November, but also back in late September. Our highest resistance line for this week's report is the R3-1875, of which the price action stretched upon in the previous week. The RSI indicator below our chart is currently running across the 30 line, a confirmation of the current bearish sentiment. That's the end of this report. We hope you enjoyed it as well as found it useful. If you like this video, make sure you share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy.
solid trading.